now entering Mr. Krister's neighborhood. In my house, I do the homework for you, so we can play, learn, and discuss about certain games together. I take more of an in-depth, academic approach to the games I play. You got a lot of bolts, but get rid of some of them and buy a proton drum yeah. from me. All right, not right now. But there's no curfews here, and this neighborhood coming out after dark is encouraged. All right, so. Okay, what's our destination? Skid's agent is still lost somewhere on Iridia. All right. I don't remember what. Well, Where there's not much to do back home. All right, then I'll do this. Oh, crap, come on. Well, welcome back. Please come in. As you can tell, we are, next? We we're playing Ratchet and Clank on the PS4 tonight. Gadget we must retrieve in Iridia. Oh, there's Iridia. So in the previous episode, I shared how I planned for this show to kind of work and introduced our current attraction, which is, of course, Ratchet and Clank for the PS4. Alright, let's see, are they about to talk here? Man, you got a lot of bolts, but get rid of some of them and buy- Wait, is that Skid Marks up ahead? Oh yeah. Oh, someone help me! Well, before I help you, I still got a spiel to say. So, if you didn't know, Ratchet and Clank PS4 is a vibrant and frantic 3D action platformer that came out in 2016, developed by Insomniac Games in parallel with the major motion picture counterpart. So, which they're not identical twins, but we can call them brothers if. One is the older, bigger, and much more successful brother, and the other still lives in their parents' basement. Oh man, am I happy you two dudes showed! I've been out here all night! I can't believe it! Skid McMarks! I have seen every one of your races! You pulled off a triple Nova spin at Mach 2 at last year's Kerwin Cup! It's always good to meet a fan, little dude! I am Clank. This is Ratchet. Your uncle received your infobot and asked us to assist you. Oh, I was wondering if you yeah. got that. My agent and I have been running from those blog all night. Only we ended up getting separated in the chaos, and I took a gnarly fall getting out of the Skid McMark sports shack. Hey, think you dudes can clear out the sand shark so I can get to my ship? Give me my hoverboard if you do. Whoa, a, a real score. McMark's 4000? Consider it done. Watch all right, those sand Alex. Sharks, bro. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Oh. That's right. June Havens, you've got skill. Oh, yikes. So, I'll, I'm about to give you a quick recap, but today I'll be addressing some of the reasons why this game exists, some de some development facts, as well as as its effect and success, including industry reception and sales figures. Oh my gosh! Yep, it's just like... It's just like shooting womp rats in Beggar's Canyon. Right, I'll just uh I'll just go where the shooting takes me. Woo. So Okay. What are you? I guess I guess I'm full on you already. Alright, let's get some fire. So if I'm to continue with the neighborhood theme, this is Mr. Christer's neighborhood after all. I'm gonna circle around the block first to give y'all a quick recap of episode one. So let's, and then we'll turn on to Causeway. Bye. 
Okay. So... There's still like 50 left. Okay, we are making progress. Unlimited power! Ha ha ha! To grind out those monies. On the plateau. So for our housewarming party, which is last episode, we began our Ratchet and Clank adventure with our friend Ratchet, which is this main guy you see me playing as, which he is... Go for some space pizza, that's for sure. Nice. So, Ratchet is a Lombax from the planet Belden, who is not quite a hero and living. Oh, boy. oh shoot, he was uh, living on a mechanic on his backwater planet of a home. All right, let's get out something. Here we go. But. Oh, F you. Tried to bite me in the butt? Are you kidding me? But he has major aspirations to become a galactic ranger. Then our metallic friend, which... I there are a few sand sharks left. Oh, he just spoke. He's this little robot with the green eyes on our back. He is, we've got to see him escape from the factory where he was made. Yeah, he was created as a quote-unquote defect. If I am, if I may be so bold to use that word, but you know, purely for descriptive purposes only. Ah, oh, I saw that coming. Crap. My bad. So. After his escape, Clank uh, conveniently crash-landed on Ratchet's planet. And then Ratchet went to investigate, and they figured out that they have a common purpose. Which is to get to the bottom of Drek Industries' seemingly corrupt practices. Alright. Oh, hey. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, kill him dead. Whack those moles. One. Got him. Nice work, little dudes. So uh, that was pretty awesome. Thanks for your help. Here's your hoverboard. Score. Oh, and it's autographed to Ratchet and Clank, the chillest dudes I've ever hung out with on a hostile alien planet. <gasps> Cool. Will you be able to get home that on your own? Cool. I'll be okay, though I don't think I'll be able to compete in the Blackwater City Hoverboard competition. Kind of a bummer, dude. Hey, have either of you little dudes seen my agent? I feel kind of bad leaving him out here. He doesn't do well with nature. So, we saw right about when we left off. Last episode, we saw this guy give us a distress oh, signal. Dude, I hope this isn't a career-ending injury. That's Skid McMarks, who is like some extreme sports superstar, sort of like a. We should search the area for Skid's Sean, agent. you know, he Sean White, assistance. Tony Hawk, sort of thing. Ratchet really loves him, so that autographed hoverboard probably really, probably really did it for old Ratchet. Hey, let's. Cash out. Why don't you upgrade your pyrocitor? Right. Oh, I got like six thousand. Okay. I like the sound of this. I say we can buy something big. It's Friday. Friday night. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. Right. So I, I stated earlier that this 3D action platformer was released on April 12, 2016, 
exclusively for the PlayStation 4. By Insomniac Games. We also figured out that I love pretty colors and explosions. So, this game will suit me well, I believe. Alright, let's keep upgrading this gun since it's like our. It's gonna be kind of our bread and butter. And uh, I also said that. I will be going for the Platinum Trophy, although I might not do all of it on stream. Oh, nice! Alright, that's enough. That's enough money. Enjoy your new proton drum! Ending. Alright. Attention, future consumer. Fine, well, agent. Oh, please. Oh, right. You are now prepared for that. A restricted area. Please vacate the construction site. Yeah, get back. Get back. Yeah. All right, let's get some fire. Oh. Did you see that? I just like deftly dodged that one. Alright. Now, now it's a little quieter for today's episode. It's called Episode 2 Cause and Effect. So for the for the purposes of this show, the cause of a game will be the reasons why it exists, why the developer chose to make the game, and aspirations oh boy. That, that they had. And that's what I'll, oh, I'll go over is. first. After I get done with all some of this craziness. craziness. That was impressive. Why, thank you. I... I'm sure some people think that I am impressive. Ow! What the? Are you? Attention, future consumer. While the Woosa. skin McMark Sports Woosa. Shack appreciates your enthusiasm, you are now trespassing in a restricted area. Please vacate. Okay. That's that place. So, orange. Orange boxes are bad. Hit them from a distance. Speaking of distance... Okay. Alright, for the, ca the causes of... Ratchet and Clank PS4. So, well, not straight from the developer's mouth, it can be surmised that amid our culture of remakes and remasters and in video games and just media in general, after over a decade, Insomniac was looking to revisit their seminal game, which is, of course, the one this game was made of. Uh, is uh, kind of a remake of Ratchet and Clank 1 on the PS2. But to, of course, modernize it for the PlayStation 4 and, you know, for its power, graphics, and capabilities, and implement new or perhaps a more complete, a complete version of their original vision. You. That's the last of them. That right. was impressive. Yes, my mom thinks I'm impressive. I think I said that already. Okay. Attention, future consumer. We thank you for your interest in the Skid McMark Sports Shack. However, your refusal okay, to leave has forced us to oops. activate the Constructobots. Have a hey, nice we're, day. we're trying to help this dude. Why? 
Why are we catching black for it? Signature near the swing shot targets. I believe it may be a gadget from Drek Industries. Oh, I want a gadget. All right, let's have a look around. But, so, but literally. Hey, it doesn't look like much now, but it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have hoverboards, a swing shot course, and even a 24-hour taco stand for those late-night munchy munch attacks. But literally straight from the developer's mouth, or the mouth of production director Sean McCabe. Credit to uh, Polygon author Philip Kohler, 2015, for this quote. Ratchet and Clank is a game that takes elements from the original. What we imagined when we started was a curated first Ratchet experience. So that last statement, a curated first Ratchet experience, tells me that they had a, you know, a grander, bigger vision for their original Ratchet and Clank on PlayStation 2. That that hardware and software simply couldn't handle. Oh, these are bad. Yeah, we used our wits. This means that the game that we're experiencing presently... Oh, I ripped before I leave. That was... Sorry. That this means that the game we're experiencing presently is a more accurate representation of Insomniac's now 14-year-old vision. Oh, jeez. Come on, I jumped. Come on. is 14 years old, that means their vision for this game was a freshman in high school? Which I suppose is when most of us are blossoming into our own vision, too. Good for them. And, uh, a wise decision, no doubt, since they can not only engage their original audience, back in the PlayStation 2 era, but they can also expand into the new generation of gamers here in, uh, you know, 2016, 2017. Oh, I don't know if that was good. Okay. Ooh, Tarzan skills on point. Yeah, especially given this game's appeal to the whole family. So it's like, you know, you get someone like me, found a portable hydro you can also get like, by you know, younger and older gamers. This ingenious device promised to move water from one place to the other. Sweet. Right. Down we go. Oh. Around and around we go. Going counterclockwise. Yeah, Just money. Just a push of a button, the duo could now fill an entire swimming pool. If only we could all do that. Originally designed to unclog Valkyrie toilets, Ratchet would find the Hydro Displacer mm. invaluable in navigating the sewers of the galaxy. 
Uh, is that like a foreshadowing? We're gonna have to go into the sewers of the galaxy? We should Hope search not. the area for Skid's agent. He may need our assistance. Oh, I see you. I see you. Sniper attack. Come back. Detected in sector four. Come back and get these boxes. Bots. Another reason why this game exists is to reinvigorate and reestablish the 3D platformer genre that originally helped, that the original game helped refine. So I plan on spending a significant chunk of time delving into influences and genre discussion in a later episode, so stay tuned on that one. Let's, let's go this way. Um, Maybe there's maybe there's a secret this way actually. Hopefully it's not the way I came. All right. But this has impacted and transformed the genre in many ways. So one can surmise that the developer takes pride in it, the genre. 3D action platforming, and would want the whole genre to succeed. It's, you know, it's uh, kind of like the world of finance, you know, that mad money. If I had a soundboard, I'd do, uh, do uh, my Jim Cramer impression, I'd have some uh, bull and bear sounds. Anyway, if I had a soundboard. Oh jeez. Better be something good. I've been here before. Gosh dang it. Are you kidding me? I'm lost. I thought I went... I came from an elevator. Anyway, so like in the in the finance world, many times if a whole industry sector, such as defense, tanks, <laughs> I made a punny, uh, that would hit even the most powerful company in the industry, like a Lockheed Martin. Or, you know, for another example, if, if all tech stocks are performing poorly, Chances are Facebook will tumble also with its cohorts because they're related. You know, in in, in the audience's mind and you know, really just the circles they run. So what's, what's the point of all this? Where 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 TFMI going? Is there like a map or something? You know what? Let's see where this takes us. So anyway, that that example is just to say where when the rest fall, so do the best. You know, unless you're Mario for this genre. And like I said, in a later episode, I'll, I'll go over what this genre is about. Oh my gosh, is there like a map or something? Thank you. Map doesn't really help. So I guess right? Call me spoiled, but I like it when there's like a marker to follow. I guess I'll go the long way. Man, now I wish I was at that 
one spot where I I turned right when I should have just gone straight where the bad guy was. Oh sweet, he's talking to me. That's probably a good sign. George, George, George of the jungle. Watch out for that tree! Looks obtainable. Let's see. Okay, come on. Ooh, that was close. What was this? Oh my gosh. What is going on with this game? Uh, I guess let's uh, let's go to this little shaded area, which would be at about one o'clock. Backtracking, I can give you another another cause for this game to be, which is obviously. Oh, that's right. Okay, I've been here. I've been here. We should search the area for Skid's agent. Okay. Need our assistance. Okay. Okay. Is oh, yeah. So. An obvious reason is to tie in with the movie, which uh, came uh, came out a couple weeks after this Intrusion game. Detected in sector four. Oh heck yes, we are where we're supposed bots. to be finally. So, marketing motivations were clearly evident in my research. Con consequently, to coincide with uh, the parallel release of of both these products. As previously stated, Ratchet and Clank the game released on April 12th, 2016, and the film entered theaters on April 29th, 2016. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, hey, help me, help me, gun. Oh, sweet. Their health around here. Okay, good. So, kinda. What? Wait. Oh. Yeah, tell me about it. Attention, future consumer. The finest selection of hoverboards, grab bikes, and gyrocycles oh, oh, will oh, not oh, be in stock oh, until floor next started fall. Moving. Sorry. The only thing waiting for you here is death. Bring it on. Hey, Skid McMars here. I've always this wanted to find know. death. Ha 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 ha. Oh, whatever. I was like feet away from that. Oh, jeez. Huntables. From a distance. Ratchet would have to channel hours of training to hang from this deadly lead. Um, so that took hours in game time? And game time goes really quickly then. Oh, hey, what's. There's something floating. Woo, we got something shiny. I can't see, I'm just gonna start swiping. Oh, what? Did I do that? What was that blue thing? You die. 
word. So what is crisp in this vision is the beautiful art style that seems to be influenced by and perhaps even rivals t top tier animated movie productions, say like Pixar or DreamWorks. So it's obviously a welcome addition to the modern library. I mean, can you think of cell shaded cart slash cartoony games that were out back in the early 2000s when the original Ratchet and Clank came out? So, looks nothing like this, that's for sure. Think of games like Red 13, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, any of the Nickelodeon based games. Which. <laughs> I, I do have to say, I actually owned a, a Nicktoon game. It's like, it's like some Super Smash Brothers clone. My, my parents got it for me when they got me a GameCube for Christmas. So, it it was endearing. It was sort of fun, actually. But yeah, they knew I loved to watch uh, Nick shows back in the day. So I I appreciated the sentiment. Okay, this is... Alright, where are we going? Okay, that's against the grain. Alright, we came from down. All these arrows are pointing... that way. Alright, consult the map. Yeah, so... Of course you got, uh... Well, yeah, I mean, you think of e even my beloved Sly Cooper. Can't really compare to this style. Oh man, I was going the wrong way. F that. Although, uh... Wind, Wind Waker holds up, if you, uh... I've seen anything about that uh, remake that was on the Wii U. That's a gorgeous, cartoony game. So, I, but anyway, back to our, you know, the cause or reason why this game should exist. Is if you're capable of producing something this creative and beautiful, I say that makes a pretty stellar reason to build a game about it. Right, going right. So yeah, I just, you know, outlined some reasons for this game to exist that, you know, is, that I think goes kind of beyond, you know, making money and just, you know, crapping out a remake. Right. Okay, yeah, this is where he said hours of training. That's where I got the shiny thing. Oh, hey, yes, bad guy. That means... Nice. That means well, I'm probably going the right way. Alright, in just a little bit I'll get to, uh... I'll get to, uh, the, the effects of this game. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. You know celebrities these days. They do whatever they want. Oh, we this, can work this out, can we? This sounds like agent speak. Ooh, look at all oh that was satisfying, all the all the bolts coming to me. Can I not? Oh, okay. I was gonna say I've played years of Metal Gear Solid. I should know in Uncharted, I should know how that works. Huntables. Help! These brutes are trying to kill me. Take out the law backs. Uh oh, you see, you know I'm a law back. Cool. 
Oh hey, you're not shooting me, so... Alright, I'm doing good on health. Oh! There's more of them! Hey, get them off my back, and I'll make you famous! Oh, well, yes, please! Hey, I've got a name. It's Ratchet. Can't you tell by my my Ratchet wrench? Oh wait, sorry, I haven't saved this guy. He hasn't made me famous yet. So I guess they wouldn't know who I am. I don't recall if there were difficulty settings in this game. I usually just go down the middle anyway. But I am I do die every now and then, so kid. I think that's all of them. Oh, it's Hereritarium, yeah. Hey, you must be the two heroes who saved my client, huh? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Socket and clink. Ratchet and Clank. Nice try, though. Right, right. Beautiful. Sprocket and Plank. I like the sound of it. Real marketing potential. I could sell that. Uh, listen, my client kinda, and I got separated in our somewhat hasty trek back to the ship. I'd go meet up with them, but this place is crawling with sand sharks. Uh, think you can help me out? You have nothing to fear, sir. The sand sharks have been dealt with. Beautiful. Beautiful. You two have heart. I can sell that. We are always happy to assist. And next time, you should probably, uh, stay inside. Or hide, and not stand in the middle really of the field. really appreciate you helping us out. So where are you off to now? Hospital, I guess. Gotta get this lead checked out. A hospital? Skid, come on. You've been through worse. Uh, what are we gonna do about your sponsors? Um, I'm beginning to think you don't, like, care about me or whatever. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Wrenchy? Ratchet. Exactly. You want to be a hoverboard star? This infobot will give you all the details. Just tell him Don Wonderstar sent you. Rob the robot. It's that time again. The annual Blackwater City Hoverboard Competition on Planet Rogar. Are you a young thrill seeker looking to show off your hoverboard skills? Then blast on over to Rilgar and experience the pulse-pounding thrill of doing Mach 3 on a rocket-powered piece of plastic. How exciting <laughs> is the race? Just listen to some of our previous champions. I never miss the Blackwater City Hoverboard Competition, uh, except for next year's. I probably won't make that one. I can't feel my toes. Is that normal? <laughs> We're offering cash prizes and holo cards to the winners. So head to Planet Wilgar and take a shot at the most extreme sporting event in the galaxy. And uh, try not to die. Wow, we just saved a celebrity. I want to check out that hoverboard competition. We should head back to the ship. Alright. Duly noted. Hoverboard competition on Rilgar is our next stop. Alright. Just to give a brief description of what I mean by effect, which is effect, E-F-F-E-C, E-C-T of a game, it's basically its tangible impact or success or lack thereof within its environment which is, in this case, of course, the game industry and video game market. Uh, internship. The in, in practicum that equates to... Okay, uh, what's our destination? I believe Planet Rilgar would be a good choice. Equates to sales figures, what industry and audience reception. Awards and lasting changes made to its successors and environment. So, just to give uh, a real world example for clarity, the effect of a 
president of the United States being elected would be the policies and events that transpire during his tenure, while how those policies and events impacted the people and their influence over the course of history enters the realm of deeper analysis, which we'll get to for this game, but that's a later episode. We'll definitely be delving into that level yeah, of analysis later. But believe me, that's Attention where the, that's where the true fun begins. I'm freaking pumped! Our security teams so, are working hard to rid the city of so, these yep, you're but probably looking at the description of this show thinking, ah, uh, keyword here so is academic. Arrive, the race is uh, hopefully not what did I get myself into. Thank you. Ooh, that looks boss. Oh man, I'm only a third of the way there. Oh, I need this. There's a trophy about this gun. Okay, we're saving up for a Groovatron. Let's clear out those amoeboids. I have a new McMark's hoverboard I want to try out. A McMark's 4000. Uh, hello? Target? Oh, jeez. <clears throat> so, what about the people that don't have a hook shot. They just can't access this planet? Well, that's okay. I have one, so hmm. works for What's me. What's down here? Uh, I think it's gonna be a bunch of crap. Alright, so this the game that we're playing, Ratchet and Clank for PS4, sold 2.12 million globally per VGCharts.com, which makes it the 50th best-selling PS4 game as of June 2017. Right, let's kill these. Oh yeah! So that's pretty good. I think anytime you break over a million, that's it's actually exceptional. And then, uh, per Metacritic, which is a, a reviews aggregate, it is averaging an 85%, which is makes it the 81st highest rated PS4 game, but 23 other games share the 85 score, so... I mean, I don't... I don't know what, uh, you know, I don't know what makes it 85 or, like, puts it into the 60s or not there. Hey, fish out of water. Easy kill. Yeah, I'm all about the easy kills. You probably can tell that from my other podcasts. All right, looks like we're going to put the water back up and get over there. That was just to kill that mean looking fish. So, th this ranking surprised me a little bit, actually, because I would have thought a game of this caliber of quality and style would have actually ranked higher. Which, th this could be because of the remake factor, as it were. As well as, you know, higher ratings in video games these days tend to equate to more dramatic and mature experiences, as much as that pains me to say. Alright, we're gonna do this dance again. So, on, uh, on other aggregate sites, like GameRankings.com, this game is, uh, BOOM! Yeah, that's just like Link and Smash Brothers, bruh. A downward sword attack. So yeah, on GameRankings.com, this game is averaging an 86%. And uh, just to give you some perspective, the original on the PlayStation 2 is averaging an 89%. So the analysis of that is 
Originality perhaps counts for something. After all, nothing is truly novel anymore. Uh, looks like we're gonna swim. Left or right? Left or right? Okay, not, uh... Oh, okay. I think I saw what I was supposed to do. Let's see if this works. Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. I missed a step. I to see if his... You can see that his fur is wet, but I can't see that close. I'm sure it was, though. So, just, uh kind of break down those review scores a little bit more. Uh, one of my favorite sites to go to is IGN.com and uh, IGN's uh, Marty Sleva touted uh, that Insomniac's Ratchet and Clank on PlayStation 4 is one of the most charming and cr creative and rewarding adventures in recent memory and he gave it a 9.0 which is a uh, an excellent score. And then uh, another great gaming website, GameSpot.com, gave this game an 8 out of 10, which equates to great. And then, so you can tell it, it gets the the high Bs, B plus range. Uh, I looked up some generalized user scores, which is the people speaking. On Metacritic, user score 87. Right. I'm gonna be swimming all this, so I need to know where to go. I think I said in the first episode that I hate swimming sequences. Probably because I, I put too much into it, too much personal effort into it. As in, I might be holding my breath right now. Okay, I survived. So, on, uh, oh shoot, on Amazon.com, which is muy importante, the, the users give this game a 4.75 stars. And then the IGN community gives it a 8.9. So, yeah, like I said, just really solid all the way around. Okay, I came out of the pool. I got everything around here. Looks like we're taking the water slide. Whoa! Ew, gross. I'm in a sewer. Sewer pumps activated. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Run, 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 run. We should run now. Escape, escape. This sucks, this sucks. Oh shoot, yep, this sucks. Not only am I running, there's bad guys. Alright, get me out of here. Alright, F this noise. Getting the flamethrower out. Oh frick, oh frick, where do I go? Okay. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. Go down, go down. This sucks, this sucks. Up, 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 up. Can I breathe? Can I breathe? Okay, good. Alright. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. They ain't stop till you drop. Yeah. Come on, come on. Is this over yet? Up, 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 up. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, come on! <sighs> that was really freaking stressful. Okay. Sewer pumps activated. Okay. Oh boy. I'll get more to my content after we this. Run now. I have to stay engaged on this. Alright, need to go faster. F you guys, F you guys. Can't touch this. 
Alright, can't ain't stop till you drop. Ow! Crap, crap! Go, go, go! Oh shoot, come on, I'm doing a little bit better. Yeah, last time the water was all up in there. Come on, baby, come on. I think I'm doing better. Alright. Let's stay up, let's stay up. Up, 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 up. Go, baby, go, baby. Come on! Can I do better? Sewer pumps activated. Oh boy. I believe All right. we should run now. Yeah. What are you doing? You're actually weighing me down, you bucket of bolts. Alright, I'm sorry, Clank. Clank Clank's a bro. I should That's bad, that's bad. I think I'm losing some seconds. Alright. Oh dear. The water is rising. Oh dear. Ah! Oh, this is bad. Okay. Alright, this this is looking like a fail. Is there any anything else I should be doing? Try as he might, Ratchet could not oh, yeah. underwater. Ratchet yeah, baby, I did it. I'm trying, pal. Yeah. That was close. You think? Yeah. Third tries the charm, baby. I even said that looked like a fail. Yeah, man, I wish. Oh, nice! I was actually pushing the button hoping that, uh, like a destiny dance would happen, but it's a quick, su quick switch on guns, which is actually more useful. Alright. So, the reviews told me that, uh, it had consistently praised visuals, which you can see. It was a perfect this, this game looks is like bad news. Better keep our eyes peeled, Clank. This game is approachable and uh they all noted the lively setting, story, and sense of humor. And it's just genuinely fun and unique gameplay. Are you a friend or foe? Okay, I think you're a friend. Hey pal, you got any of them rhino hollow cards? You wanna buy some, some death sticks? Only the most powerful super weapon in the galaxy, Chief. Stands for rip you a new one. See, the Gadgetron guys, they knew the plans would be too dangerous to leave in any one location. So they split them up and printed them on a bunch of hollow cards. Me and my associates would very much like to acquire these hollow cards, and thus the full plan. And let me guess, if we give you all the hollow cards, you'll build us the weapon. That is correct, my industrious friend. Here, take this trespasser. It may help facilitate the acquisition of said merchandise. Hey, he gave me something. That's nice of him. So, this would lead me to believe that one is probably close by. So, although I in no way correlate the price of a game with its success or quality, I suppose I should note that this game currently retail ranges about $15 to $20, which I guess you would call Yo, bargain bin. What do you got for me? Am I just supposed to talk to you again? <laughs> However, most games over a year old are below $30. But here's looking at you, Nintendo. So 
take that as you will. Sorry, sport. I can't build you the weapon until you bring me all the Rhino Hollow. Good if I would, bruh. You looking to make a deal? What's in your ship? So instead of instead of offering us drugs, you offered us a rocket launcher. This game rules. Oh, oh, there it is. I was right. The trespasser can short circuit powered locks. Oh, this looks like a. Uh... This looks like some hacking. To point laser at power port. Okay. Detected port powered. Proceed to next control ring. Power remaining port with remaining laser. Oh, hey, there's a lot of gold. <laughs> hey, I got one. Other planets and stuff. Hollow cards are everywhere. So currently, there's a. Oh, I saw that right when I pushed the button. Lacey. Currently, there are no direct sequels to this particular version of announced. And of course, the if you uh, have been following E3, the main team of Insomniac is probably spinning away at their new Spider-Man game. Ha <laughs> ha! Get it? Spinning? Spider-Man webs? Oh yeah, my my Spidey senses are a tingling. What's new, buddy? So what was? Uh, did I miss anything? Right, looks like that's But the the spirit of this game is what spawned the whole Ratchet and Clank series, which you've no doubt heard of. So its impact is abundantly apparent, just in its name alone. Oh no, calm. I don't want to relive this. No, take me back up, dude. Go right. slick. What do you got for? No, I don't want to buy death sticks. Okay, that's where I'm going. Do I want to return to the ship? Yeah, so I can't get through here. It's, I guess I gotta return to the ship then. Very fifth element looking taxi here. Let's enter that hoverboard race. Well... Maybe not today. That looks like a good stopping point. And, uh, well, that's all I've got for now. I greatly appreciate you stopping by. Tonight we discussed the cause and effect relationships of Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation 4. I am CK, a member of the Paradox Parade. You can find our content on our YouTube channel and our individual streams. I have link to our Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube here on my page. Just scroll down very lightly. So please check us out. Throw us some likes, follows, and subscriptions. I, uh, of course, would love any kind and considerate feedback in the chat or comments of the videos. So should you find your way back to Mr. Christer's neighborhood, Ratchet and Clank is still on the ticket with an an exhilarating symposium over the influences behind this game. And uh, looks like we're going to be doing some hoverboard racing, so channeling our inner Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yeah, so uh, join me for episode 3, and may God bless you richly on your journey. Peace out.